Hello everyone, it's Jono, and here I have my brand new Samsung phone, and my older iPhone. Now, obviously you've got your Samsung phone, you're looking to transfer your content from your iPhone to your Samsung phone. So how do you do it? Well, there are several ways, but the easiest is using an application that Samsung have already pre-installed on the phone for you. How considerate of them. So, to get to the application, if you pop, over, pop open your menu, head to the Samsung folder, You'll see it there, named Samsung Smart Switch. Once it's open, it presents you with two opportunities. You can either use the USB cable, or you can do it by wireless. To do it by the wireless, you would need to have your iCloud account backed up. You can hit select, select your other device, which is an iOS device, and you log in with your iCloud account. I'll quickly show you where you can find your iCloud account on your iPhone, if you're not sure. down there, get iCloud backup and make sure you've got a backup recent. The wireless method is by far longer than the cable method and it's handy if you haven't got the cable there. What we're going to do is use the USB cable. Now you get this little doohickey in the box with your Samsung phone, Samsung give it to you. Basically what you do is you stick that in the bottom of your new Samsung phone, be it an S8, an S8 Plus, or S7 Edge, S7, whatever it could be. It pops into the USB-C connector. You then grab the cable from your previous phone, in this case obviously it's a lightning cable, being, with it being iPhone. You put the uh, main USB connector into the doohickey and connect the lightning port back into your iPhone. At that point, the iPhone is going to ask you to trust the Samsung device. So before you go any further, you are going to have to hit, hit trust. Then you can hit next on your Samsung phone. And what's going to happen now is the device is going to connect to the iOS device. And then it's going to start searching for all of your media, your contacts, your internet browser history, your text messages, your applications, your notes, everything you can think of. Now, this searching can take up to 15 minutes depending on um, how much memory you have on your iPhone. Something else to consider before getting to this point is the internal storage of the Samsung phone you've purchased. So the Samsung S8 and S8 Plus, they come with 64 gigabytes of internal storage. However, the iPhone that I have got goes up to 256 gigabytes. Now, if you full Filled that full 256 gigabytes, clearly you're going to have too much space, too much um, content on your iPhone to transfer over to the Samsung phone. So, you will need to put a memory card into the Samsung before you go any further. So, here we go. The Samsung phone has now finished searching my iPhone 7 um, the content that it can transfer going to present you with a list of items that it can transfer now from the phone. You'll notice that the um, all the items are pre-ticked, so it is selecting everything for you. However, if you only want to transfer a select amount of stuff, you can just select or unselect the items you don't wish to transfer across. Once you're ready, if you hit the next button, the phone will prepare and then transfer all of the contents. It will go down the list one by one, and you can see that from my phone, it's about 12 to 13 gigabytes of content there, and it's gonna do that in around two to three minutes. So that's pretty quick. If we were doing that on the wireless, I'd estimate we'd be looking between 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your wireless speeds. And that, because that's basically you know, the, the Samsung downloading the iCloud information from iCloud. You can see there that we are now done. The transferring has finished. The phone is now saving that content into the right places on the memory. At this point, you can now disconnect your old iPhone. Do so by just unplugging the doohickey and taking your other phone away. The co your content is now on the Samsung S8 just got to wait for the phone to save it. 
This shouldn't take too long. Another couple of minutes and you're going to be ready to go with your new Samsung phone. And here we are at the end of the process. The phone now gives you an overview of everything that it's trans transferred to 12.75 gigabytes from my phone is transferred onto the new one. It also gives you a couple of bits of information. It says download Moth Player because Apple iOS devices, uh, the videos you make on them will play better. It also reminds you to disable iMessage. Now you will need to do this if you have mess if you use iMessage a lot and you have friends trying to text message you because if you don't disable it, you may not receive their messages. It can go through and tells you what's been transferred, photos, videos, music, and so on and so forth. And there is an extra feature here where you can go in and you can straight set up the Samsung Cloud Backup. You can obviously do this later as well. It also shows you the applications that you had on your iPhone. And you can now go down this list and install them individually to make sure you're not missing any of the applications that you use the most from your iPhone. It also gives you a bunch of recommended apps. Because you're coming from Apple, most of them are just Apple apps. So if you tap install, it will take you to the Google Play Store. And obviously if you haven't already signed in, it will require you to do so. And if you are signed in, you can just install the app. You can see, obviously my, my background from my iPhone is automatically transferred and applied to the new phone. Obviously the background is not great for this phone because of the different aspect ratio, so I will have to change it. Also, the lock screen photo. Automatically transferred and gone across. Beautiful. This could not have been simpler. 